localization process in PEDA contains the following flow. Firstly, you need to design your application in such a way that it supports localization by defining field values for all the labels wherever applicable instead of hard coding the values by defining paragraph rules by defining correspondence templates instead of direct messages for email templates second stage is localize the pega rule sets so we say we want to localize your entire application but pega already provides you some language packs for some of the pega provided labels pega provided py status work pega provided captions so why do you want to retranslate them instead of use them what is pega is already providing install language pack verify the language pack after installing that now you run the localization wizard now translate missing ones what are the new ones only you need to translate them translate the missing ones and verify the translation so these are the different steps firstly you need to select the languages export this is the export process this is the import process so step one is you need to export select the languages you want to check next select the rule sets by uh, clicking on the checkbox enable the records we need to enable the records to be enabled for localization by default pega does this when you run the localization wizard which we are going to see in the next few seconds you need to export the translations in that export you will get an excel sheet you open that you, you physically manually or you separately give that to the translator and vendor translation vendors charge some money for conversion from english to the native language after uh, translation vendors or the translator translates the excel files with the english uh, the, uh, english words in their replacements of the native language words you you import that excel file into pega you select the rule sets to import upload translation pack you imported rule sets so basically whatever import rule sets you are importing once you change the local setting from the application landing page that rule set with that language name also appears in the operator application stack you can verify that from operator my profile application stack first step is go to configure system localization translate to new language select the language that you want to translate to say for example i want to translate it to spanish espanol add that click on add to add that language if you want to retranslate some of the existing translations which are already available in your system you select this checkbox but why do you want to retranslate when they are already available you can reuse them you can save some translation costs right select next select the rule sets which you want uh, so as you can see here this is your topmost application layer this is your built-on application layer as you scroll down you will even get your other built-on application layer framework application layers you will even get the pega platform but you need not uh, translate pega application because pega already provides language parts for the rules in the pega rules application enable records for translation uh, by uh, if your application is prior to pega 7 then only you have to enable it um, but rules created in pega platforms after pega 7 are automatically enabled but still you can run this wizard when you run this when you click on this you will see this progress bar basically pega will open each and every field value html rule paragraph rule correspondence rule when you click on this and will enable the checkbox in the back end after this you can press next these are the html records and these need to be done manually we cannot use this wizard so for this you have to give this html record itself manually to the translation vendor no next you can download for the her translation so basically when when you click on download as you can see here a file will be downloaded in your browser you note this case id for future reference because we will re resume this wizard at the time we need to select this case id and upload it back so basically whatever zip file is there so basically this is the file that we have downloaded dot zip if you see here there is translate translation files text to translate dot xml is there but we want to open this using not using xml but we want to 
you open this using excel sheet for that you need to extract this so this is the current zip folder that to extract this then you will instead of dot xml you will get excel file here so as you can see here this is the same file but what i did is i have extracted it as you can see i have extracted a normal file from dot zip file so now when you open this file you will you are going to get text to translate xml instead of xml you, are, you can open that in excel so you can click here right click edit so that excel sheet opens so these are all the base things that is field values uh, py captions py variable py action action label everything here you can write your spanish transaction here once you are done with the thing you can save it so after saving again you zip it this entire all folds as it is again you zip it and that zipped folder you have to import in the next screens so for example now i want to i am writing the translation for name street city latitude and longitude state as well go to file and click on save after that now we have to resume that case for that again go to configure system sorry user interface localization translations in progress pxl2 is our case id actually in our case now we are, there is only one case id there, there is no confusion if there are multiple case ids that's why we have to record that case id to import your pack into that particular uh, translation case only you need to select the rule set as it is a spanish language select gogorod in bracket spanish if it is urdu gogorod in brackets urdu like that you need to do add your rule set version again do the same this is for correspondence rules and fragments and paragraph rules now we have to in the choose file you should not upload your excel file as you can see here again you have to upload your zip file only so so firstly will zip file will extract into normal uh, in that normal folder you will edit using a normal excel sheet actually in our case we have edited but that entire excel will go to the vendor so that translation vendor or the translator will translate them and give us back the excel, excel sheet that excel sheet you place replace in the original folder again you zip it so, so that again we get a zip file that zip file you need to import here as you can see here errors while importing zero that is good import skipped thousand plus why why one two two four are skipped because for one two two four rows we did not provide the translation which provided translation for only six rows and hence six are the successful imports now you can go to configure user interface localization locale settings so basically current locale which is used is english india so those will not be applied that rule set uh, go go road in brackets spanish that rule set will not come in our application stack when you se select the locale to spanish espanol then only that rule set will also be added in the current application stack and whenever you run the case spanish spain you are selecting when whenever you run the case you get those spanish translations now i am creating a new vendor service case work object as you can see here name city state latitude longitude street all are coming in the spanish language now if you go to operator view uh, profile in that application stack you will see on top of gogo road from our application stack one more rule set will come which is gogo road of espanol or spanish or spanish go to operator profile as you can see here gogo road of language pack is not coming uh, i will i will show you live now so currently i am going to application uh, sorry configure 
user interface localization local settings so the current local setting is english united states now we will we have done for the spanish right so i will select spanish of spain update once i selected to espanol which is that is spanish now if i create a new vendor case type instead of city state i will get all those labels in spanish language because we have uploaded the spanish language back oh okay i refresh refreshed it uh, actually i have uh, this is another system wherein i have done for latitude and longitude so as you can see here we are getting everything in spanish when we are getting any everything in spanish i am going to show you the application stack or rule stack stack now by going to operator profile so if i go to the profile as you can see there is another rule set added actually go go road underscore es 01-01 this is the specialty so whatever field values are there in all these rule sets they will be overrided by the field value rules paragraph rules correspondence rules in this rule set so and hence these will be picked now i am going to change the local setting back to english instead of espanol i will change it back to english or maybe okay uh, english us now if i launch one more here instead of getting in spanish i will get in english now if i go and see in the operator profile uh, uh, that go go road underscore es which uh, corresponds to espanol uh, translated field values rule set that will not be present in the application stack that's why espanol related ones will not be visible so if you see in our application rule we will not manually add those language pack rule set in either case pega will automatically insert into the application stack at the top most corresponding language rule set once that local setting is selected from the configure user interface localization local settings landing page thank you